What's going on Chemical Guys family? Thanks so much for tuning in. Today we're going over all these dressings and determining which ones to use and where, and also which ones are gonna work best for you guys. So to begin, I've already separated all of the dressings by either their application or what makes them different. So we'll start down here with our aerosol dressings where you see we have three. We have black on black, nice and wet, and factory finish. And these are three aerosols that are designated for exterior components on your vehicle because one, they're gonna give it a really high shine. But more importantly, you don't want something like that on the inside of your vehicle where it can cause a glare or it can be sticky. So we recommend using these on your exterior plastics or rubber pieces such as your grills where it's gonna be hard to get an applicator in there so you can simply spray it into the intricate areas. Or else on your wheels where you just want some kind of quick shine where it's gonna give you that deep gloss. But well, you don't have to use an applicator, you just simply spray it onto the surface, let it bond, and wipe off any excess. Now in the center here, we have our water-based dressings, and these three are going to be our sprayable version, which is a thinner consistency. And basically you can use these on your interior and exterior vinyl, rubber, and plastic surfaces. So you have something like G6, which is going to give you that higher gloss shine while still being a water-based. And the point of that being that it's not going to attract dust, it's gonna be dry to the touch, but it's still gonna give you a deep gloss. Then you work your way down to something like Silk Shine, where again, it's going to be a sprayable shine, but it's going to give you more of a natural look. And then Tire Kicker, which is going to be used for your, again, wheels or interior exterior components to give you more of a matte finish. And then you have your cream style of water-based dressings, starting off with VRP, which is going to give you a higher gloss. And you can use this on your interior and exterior components, as well as your engine bay, to give it more of a, a deeper gloss, also give it some more of that luster. And then you have Natural Shine, which gives you that matte finish, which you get right off the showroom floor where it's kind of just a, a clean look. And the pro being that you can use these to give your car a deep gloss, give it some more curb appeal, but this is also adding protection against harmful UV rays. And it's also making it harder for things to stick to the surface. Lastly, we have our oil-based products. And we'll start here with Tire and Trim Gel, which is the only gel oil-based dressing. And basically what this is going to do is give you that deep, long-lasting luster that you have on a lot of chalky exterior pieces. A lot of you guys who have trucks that have a lot of plastic trim or fairings and things like that, which get gray or kind of discolored, this is a great way to restore a deep gloss while also repelling any kind of harmful elements that could cause cracking or discoloration. And if you want something that's gonna give you a really high gloss shine, you use something like Blue Guard or even the Extreme Liquid Shine. This can be used on your wheels, you can use it on your plastics on the exterior or even in the engine bay to give it that really glossy look. A lot of guys go to car shows where they want their tires to look really glossy or any kind of trim to look really wet. And something like Blue Guard or even the Hyper V7 can give you a really deep gloss because these are oil-based products which are always going to give you a higher shine. And also they're going to last a little bit longer than your water base because it's harder for these to get washed off and it's harder for them to actually be removed because it is a thicker consistency and it creates a bigger barrier or a thicker barrier which gives you more protection. But that's why we recommend using our water base on the interior because it's going to take less of the abuse that you would get on the exterior of the vehicle. So again, you can still give your car a great luster, or give it a long lasting shine, but more importantly, you don't want to add anything that's going to give it too much glare or anything that's going to attract dust. So water base where it's going to remain dry to the touch, it's not going to add any kind of cling or collect dust, but it's still going to give you that nice shine that you're looking for. And lastly, to recap, we also have our aerosols over here, which are great for your intricate areas or the hard to reach areas, such as your grill, our trim pieces, or larger surfaces, such as underneath in the engine bay, where you have your hoses or plastic coverings, just something to give it a really deep gloss, to give it more curb appeal, but also to give it some protection. So now some of my top picks for around the vehicle, I love using black on black on your grills, your trim pieces, or things that you just wanna quickly add some gloss to. Very easy to use where you simply spray it on the surface. If you want more of a natural look, you can always wipe off any of the excess and it'll still give you the protection and a deep shine you're looking for. Then moving on to the interior of the vehicle, I like using Silk Shine, which is one of my favorite products. And this is going to be a water base that doesn't attract any kind of dust or any dirt, but it's still gonna give you that more natural look while also protecting the finish. And then for your exterior pieces, such as your wheels or valances or any of the harder to get to trim pieces where you don't want a lot of overspray, I recommend using the tire and trim gel because this is going to give you that thicker consistency, which helps to repel any kind of harmful UV rays that cause cracking or discoloration. But again, it's going to really give you that deep gloss and that look that you're going for. So guys, these are all the dressings that we carry and also how to use them or where to use them and also my recommendations. So if you guys want to learn more about these products, head over to our website, chemicalguys.com or to your local detail garage. Drop your comments down below for any future videos and also let us know what your favorite dressing is and where you like to use it. We'll see you guys next time.